How to do, everybody? It's me, Super Paul Games. I'm gonna have technical issues. Ah, it makes me angry. That's all right. Baseball always makes me calm. I'm looking forward to playing some more with my balls. <laughs> Look at that great lineup. Belt the dick. Please do not. No moss, but lots of belt. I like that too. Our top three guys in the lineup are all hitting easily over 300. MLB the show has baseball on tap from lovely city field and It's on tap. Drink your big glass of baseballs. The San Francisco Giants and the New York Mets. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Best New York team, the Giants. Yeah, it's been a long time since they've been in New York. Whatever. Steven Stemley is ready to go as he'll be on the mound. Um, I think the Mets are probably having a problem. Bad year? Look at that record. 2-11. and 11. Either that or they just don't give Mustachio there any run support. Lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy. So whatever he's doing against lefties, it certainly works. Yeah, that's what technically leads the National League in batting average. That's really um, being glass half full about the other guy. Well, he's all right against lefties. He can't win a game to save his life, but he struck out a dude once. Tug Dick coming up to the plate. We got a runner on first. Top of the first. Only one out. Slap. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ooh, a little early on that, unfortunately. Pulled them balls. That sucks. That's insane. The Mets are on a roll, despite the fact this is a horrible pitcher. Maybe he's their number five guy in the rotation. One ball and one strike to Tug Dick. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really the ump, like or not the ump, the catcher's like, dur -dur -dur. <laughs> You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill you. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Stay fair, stay fair. Oh. Just pulls it foul. That sucks. One ball, two strikes. The 1-2. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Interesting. Um, stands at first with one out. <laughs> I was gonna say something. The way they mowed the grass around the diamond, or not the well, there's a diamond around the mound. That's inside. Misses inside, and the counts run full now. There's a diamond in a diamond. It's diamondception. See the runner in motion here on full count. Two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Oh, that was a perfect pitch. High fastball right on the edge. Tuck Dick has had something nice to say. Little, um, I'm sure it's very nice. You know, I think there's some concern about the way Brendan Belt is playing. He had only one home run last month, so if you're looking at a guy in the middle of the order with just one homer, your team's not going to score. Man, he's been having a rough time last month, but still, I'll take him any day of the week over the other Moss. Next up for New York, Denards. Denard. <laughs> like, it's not Denard. All Denards. Runners on second and third, bottom of the second, one out. Chances are they're going to bring a run in right here. Hit in the air out to straight away left. Dick has a play. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. The run is in to score, and they... It would have been hard to get him no matter what. It would have been maybe a little helpful if the cutoff man had come our way a little bit, but whatever. the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Riding in once again, Tug Dick. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Last I saw, he's only like a home run from being tied for home runs in the National League. Here it comes. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have light. City field, more like shitty field. What do you think about that pitcher? Pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Oh. Behind <laughs> Owen two now. Maybe he didn't care? That's strike two to Tug Dig. Oh, go to second. This one's in the dirt. 
Oh, go to third? Uh, no. Wild pitch in, too. Forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something. Good job by Brandon Belt. He did not waste any time on that. With that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up free bases. Oh, I should let that go. Nice slider. Let's tug dig on strike three. Digging in to try it again. Vinny Batista. He flew out in his last at bat. Oh, we are tied though. Bottom of the third, one out. One run apiece. Good job by whoever did that, man. Look at all the skyboxes they got here in New York. That's gone. No, it's not. Oh, it is. The Big Apple will eat us all. I bet Tug Dick would look at that and be like, I'm eating that after the game. Damn you, Mets. I thought this was going to be easy, this game, uh, judging by their pitcher's record, but they're not making it easy for us. I don't have to believe in anything. You can't force me to. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very... David Wright coming up to the plate. We're down by two runs. They got a runner on first, two outs, bottom of the third. Come on, Tug Dick. Don't let that take the gas out of you. Nice catch. Come on, Tahada. Some more of the... Characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Travis Darno. It doesn't usually bode well when we seem to be spending more time in the field than at the plate. The keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to. Obviously, in real life, you would, but in this game, when you're just playing parts where you're involved, it's not a good sign. We're still down by two. Tug Dick does get the out. Tug Dick over to two strikeouts. Runners on first to second. You see our pitchers over on second. First offering on its way. Tug Dick is due. There, I told you. <laughs> that is gone. That's going to get us the lead. Three run home run. I think he had enough of the failure earlier. <laughs> So a three I wish everything in life was that way. If it doesn't work, just do it harder. It might work with sex at times, but most things it doesn't. Like if you're trying to fix a, bo uh, you know, like a porcelain teapot, just put it in harder. Slam! Oh, it broke. Nice job by Dickalicious. We got a one-run lead. Well, there's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. Tug Dick. You can hear him booing Tug Dick because <laughs> of the home run earlier. Too bad. Oh, we got a two-run lead now. Top of the seventh, no outs. New pitcher on the mound, at least need to Tug Dick. Here's a fly ball. Oh, please keep going. Please keep going. Please keep going. He gets there ah. and makes the play for the first out. It just stayed up too long. The center fielder was able to get there to make the catch. He's one for four for the game. Top of the ninth, one out. We're looking pretty good. We still got a two-run lead. Rounded down the third base. Ah, hit it foul. A big pass at a slider Trying to crush that to slider doesn't get a piece of it though. What you looking at, ball boy? We swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here, but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. Oh, he got under it too much. Yeah. Waits on it. Center or not center field. Second baseman got it. Trouble and there are two away. 
We win! Yeah, yeah! Let's keep winning! We've been on a roll the last couple weeks in game. Unfortunately, only one for five for the game, but if you're only going to get one hit, that's the way to do it. A three-run home run. Now from City Field in Flushing, New York, we welcome you to another edition of Baseball on the show. Mets do have a winning record. Between the San Francisco Giants and the New York Mets. It's Mets Baseball on the show. Next. Where's Mr. Met? PJ Smiley will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Man, he pitched really well in his last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory. Let's see if he can bring that stuff back to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong starts. Let's hope he doesn't do that again. So striding forward now, Tug Dick he comes in today leading the National League in hitting this year. Now his average has dropped a little bit, but those power numbers have been going up. Feel the dick rage. Feel it. Top of the first two outs. Nobody's on. on its way. And it's Reaching for that away. one. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Well, I thought you said last time they won eight out of the last ten. Either you lied or I didn't pay attention. It's probably the latter. So well, their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Always bump with two strikes. Don't really do it. Starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Well, way inside. He pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball. Tug Dick is not happy. He's probably calling me names well, we like, y'all spaghetti fucker. Pass, right? <laughs> What's that even mean? You're saucy. Nice no, are you play. hitting on me? It's What's going like on? Get down the third base line. Oh, oh that third baseman's line. full of jerk. <laughs> I can't believe he stopped that thing. I thought that was an easy base hit. One, two, three. Now the There's the peeping apple waiting to peep on us all. Good move by the third baseman. Robbing us of a hit. I thought for sure that was going to go by him. Or at the most, he'd be able to just stab it down. Yeah, metal! Pulled high in the air out to left field. Dick waits on it. He waits on it. He ain't no waiter. If it was like a cartoon, he'd come out in a little waiter outfit, right? <laughs> the little, like, um, cloth over his arm. Hey, what would you like, Mr. Ball? Still tied, bottom of the third, no outs. This one in the air out to left. I think that's some baseball instinct right there. He knew right where to be. So with one gone, time for our look at the current standings. As you can see, these guys really have a comfortable lead in the division race to this point. In this what? Season. Okay, the announcers are on crack. We're playing the New York Mets. They don't have a comfortable lead. They're seven games back. We have a comfortable lead in our division. Now for San Francisco. Tug Dick. That dude's high as a fucking kite. Probably got cocaine all over his desk. Top of the fourth, two outs. Woo! Ball one. The zone for a ball. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Dick is hitting over 400. Damn. Talking about a series of games or a whole career. He must lefties all day, every day. Yeah, this is a great spot for him right now. He just seems to have been picking up left-handed pitching great all season. Not long. that one. Dick has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of You always want your dick to come through in the clutch moments. That is true, announcer. That a player possesses inside. Him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow when the pressure elevates. is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his veins. Right up the middle. That's the first hit in this As I said, game. elevate that dick and come through in the clutch. Hey, guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base. Oh, good. We got Hunter Pence on deck, too. Go, Dick Racer, go. Hey, come on now. One time. Right Whoa. Now, 
step off the rubber and go to first. And he'll get back in safely. And another Obviously, they're a little back. scared for good reason. Come on, throw it wildly into the stands or something. And he'll dive back in. Come on, baby. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. A pitch out. The throw. Tug dig safe. Another Nine stolen base. As he's able to thwart Speedy the dude. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed What's like the catcher looking at? Really Hi, friends. Right? My friends Didn't came to the game. Show. That's kind of nice. Absolutely burned it down to second to get in safely. Pitching Still smiling, smiley. As we're scoreless in inning number four. Oh, One ball to Pence. Dick's back. going again. Safe. Is not close as he's in there with a All right, we got a runner on third. Two balls to Mr. Pence. Still got two outs. That's, oh. I thought that was high. The pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you. I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks the zone again. 2-1, here it is. Oh, big a swing and a miss by Pence. That sucks. Two balls and two strikes to Pence. An effective pitch for a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone. So if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. That's Ryan low. Full count. Belt on deck. Now three and two. Brandon Belt would be next if they can keep this inning alive. That's kind of weird because lately Belt had been hitting in the number two slot. The three-two pitch. Very weak. Now I got a piece of it. Staying alive. They can keep throwing those pitches. One more time. Ah, oh, damn it. Pence swings and misses. We leave a guy stranded. <laughs> Needless to say, I was not so happy about that. I love Pence, but we needed him to come through. This game is rolling right along as we move into Yeah, this game definitely is flying. Bottom of the fourth, no outs. 2 1 count. Go, dig, go. What a sad stadium. There are no train friends out here. Bring this one in. Digging in the switch hitter, Justin Smoke. He flew out in his last at bat. Bottom of the fourth, still two outs. Man, I don't like them launching them deep here. In the air out to left. That's all right. Doug Dick's Doug Dick. <laughs> Doug Dick's got plenty of range. Not that he needed it right there. Mets go down one, two, three, through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Wright. He popped out in his first trip. Tug Dick has been getting, in this series against the Mets, a ton of experience, activity in the outfield. Uh -oh. Woo! Thank God, at the edge of the warning track. Only hit we have, oh wait, we have three hits tonight, I'm sorry. Tug Dick has a third of our hits, they only have one hit. Pitcher's duel going on right now. Mr. Met! I was sexy. Whoa! Six! <laughs> That's how Mr. Met talks, I swear. Why the hell... <sighs> I don't know why the developers... I've said it a million times. Why the developers have let that in. I've never seen a mascot do that at a game in real life. No, 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 no! no. That is easily gone. Mr. Apple's going to eat us all again. We're down to zip. Wall blows it. He came in for relief a little early.
At least I assume he came in for relief. I wasn't paying attention to who our starter was. No, let's not go Mets. Boo Mets. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rear view mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result? A reason to be even more... Look at all these exp I, I would guess that this season, we've spent more time in the field in this episode than any other episode. We've had, what, 50-some episodes this season? That's lifted the other Nobody's going to catch the that. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, Dero, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch. That was a perfect nice little blooper. Tugnick finally gets to come back up to the plate. It feels like it's been 100 years. We're down two zip. Top of the six, two outs. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, you... Damn, that sucks. Third baseman catches that. That probably hurt to catch, man, because he hit one of those frozen ropes right at the dude. Ready for another squeak shot now. Chair. Squeak a squeak a chair. Guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been All right, we do have a runner on second. It's top of the ninth, one out. We're running out of outs. Two more outs and we lose this thing if we don't get some runs. The first pitch is Please carry. Please carry. Please carry. Holy shit. Tug Dick tied it with one swing of the bat. A two-run blast to straight away right field as we are Hey manager, remember when you two. benched me? Suck a dick. <laughs> What's up, Pence? Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him and when he hits him, he hits How him about that? Punches. Top of the ninth, oh, one out. We're only two outs away from losing. It is now a tied ball game thanks to that home run. I'm assuming this is extra innings now where we're having a killer inning. And he could very well get the intentional pass here. Is that what's yeah, they're probably going to walk him. Top of the 11th. They're going to be runners on first and second now with one out. one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Hunter Pence, 106 RBIs this season. RBI machine. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Go ahead, run over on second. Top of the 11th, extra innings. That's low. Ball one. This game is getting interesting real quick. And the last thing you want to do on the mound is fall behind. Needs to get back in the strike zone. Last thing you want to do on the mound is poop yourself and cry. <laughs> One ball to Pence. <laughs> Come on, Pence. That's ball two. Boy, he better get it back together here quick. You see Brandon Belt's on deck too. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. I get why they walked Dick. Dick has been very hot. Hot Dick! And um they want to set up to the force out, the double play. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tries but between to Belt below. and Pence, you have two guys who have got a lot of RBIs Left this season already. Belt. Three balls to Pence. Will he have the green light? That nope. <laughs> or he didn't like it. That's a strike. Three balls and a strike. been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. The 3-1 pitch. And that misses. They walk him. He walks the bases loaded. Brandon Belt's coming up. Good job, Pence. That is something Tug Dick does not do often. Walk in general. 
Especially so not in this kind of situation. Now. Okay, Bell's having a rough game, 0 for 4, but that means he's due, right? Well, if your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. A deep pop fly, too, could uh, work as a sacrifice and bring in the go-ahead run. If you can just clear the infield. And the change up Ball one. Or if they walk a guy, that'd be awesome, too. With that change up away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Hit back up the middle. No, 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 no. Don't turn the double play. Oh, but we're still tied because he hit into a double play. We left three guys stranded. Well, I don't know what else Tug Dick could have done. He did everything he could do so far this game. He got walked there. He couldn't steal. There were people ahead of him. We lose to the Mets. <laughs> Damn it, team! Tug Dick had a great game. Unfortunately, our offense was pretty lackluster as a team. Well, we Smiley guy, player of the game. Well, everybody, that's it for me. We won one, we lost one. I think next time we'll see whoever wins this series. Whatever. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Take it easy, everybody. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Just say goodbye.